Hello everyone and welcome back to another Chris G review video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Alvero Castanet Master Artist set of Daniel Smith watercolors. Yeah, so these watercolors are a uh, collection of colors put together by the master watercolor artist Alvero Castanet. Alvero Castanet is a watercolor artist from the country of Uruguay, which is in South America. Uh, his nickname is the Passionate Painter. This is a picture of the guy right there. Uh, if you've ever seen him before, uh, I mean, he's a, a pretty funny guy. I would say check out some of his videos uh, on YouTube. I, I might link a couple down below. Check those out. But this guy makes some uh, just incredible paintings. I don't know if you can get a good look at this, but uh, I mean, he... Uh, I. You just have to see some of the work that this guy does. Uh, plain air, in studio, whatever it is, the way he uh, works with watercolor is very admirable, admirable. Yeah. Because he, uh, the way he puts the paint down is very uh, confident. And that's something that I'm trying to move into with my art personally is uh, if you look at any master watercolor artist, they always talk about the confidence in each brush in each brush stroke. So when you put watercolor down, you're confident in where you're putting it, and the stroke that you make is, uh, you know, you, you put some uh into it. You just put a little bit of on top, you know? Put some confidence on it, and swipe that watercolor right across that paper, and love it, and let it do what it do. But... Uh, I mean, the guy is hilarious. When uh, I think he's pretty funny. Whenever he paints, he just talks. And of course, since he's like he's South American, kind of got the Spanish accent. And when he speaks English, it's just, it's just pretty funny because um, how he talks. Anyway, let's get to the watercolors. So the uh, master set that he put together. This is the only watercolor set uh, that you can buy from Daniel Smith that's put together by an artist. Other artists have sets of colors that they put together, but they come on dot charts, and you have to buy the paints individually. Uh, this set is the only set that will come in tubes, and they come in 10 5-milliliter tubes. On top of that, this is the largest Daniel Smith set uh, available. The other two sets include the uh, Primatec watercolor set and also the Essentials watercolor set, which are both uh, five tubes of five milliliters. Yeah. Or no, six. I'm sorry. Six tubes of five milliliters. In this set, uh, this Alvaro Castanet set, there are ten, which of course makes it larger than the rest. You have Hansa Yellow Deep, Mayan Orange, Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Viridian, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna Light, Neutral Tint, Deep Scarlet and Pyro Red. This is the swatches of each of those colors across the top. Don't mind this. I got some Pyro Red on to <laughs> the box. Uh, if you've ever looked at this guy's watercolor paintings, especially if you just look right up here, one thing that he's very known for is his use of reds uh, and mixing red tones into his paintings, which makes them very striking. And as you can see, there's three reds inside of this set. I'm going to let you all see the tubes. I've used most of these tubes. All right, so yeah, that's the box. Oh, yeah, inside of the box, you're going to get a, a Daniel Smith watercolor chart when you first buy this box. So you'll get one of these, a, a chart with all of the Daniel Smith colors. Uh, and then it has information on artists in the back, which you can see he's right here. And these are two other artists. Joseph uh, Zubrick is, or Zub, Zububik. I can't say his last name. Anyway, I, I really like this guy's art too. Uh, and Primatex and Luminescent watercolors are on the back, extra fine. Uh, then it has the watercolor sticks. So you get an information card in the box. These are the tubes. As you can see, I've used um, pretty much all of the colors in this set. 
a lot of them are in my palette at the moment. Some of them are not. I've tried out, uh, for instance, like the cobalt blue is it's just not a blue that I would use regularly. So I, I changed this out for a, uh, a cerulean blue. Burnt Sienna Light, I just use regular Burnt Sienna. At the time that this set was made, you could only get Burnt Sienna Light in this set. But now they make Burnt Sienna Light in a, uh, you can use, uh, you can find Burnt Sienna Light in 15 milliliter tubes and not just the seven milliliter tubes in this set. So just an update. Neutral Tint, uh, one of my favorite colors. It's like a cool gray. And when you mix it into other colors, it, it basically cools them down and turns them into more like a shadow. Uh, deep Scarlet is, you know, deep red. And uh, so one thing about this set, before I go on, I would not recommend this set for beginners because it does not have the usual warm and cool version of each of your primary colors like most sets. Uh, the colors are very similar. So for instance, you have how in the essential set you might have your Hansa yellow light or something like that and then like new gamboge for your orange or your uh, warm yellow. Here you have Hansa yellow deep and Mayan orange. Mayan orange is really, really, really warm, almost to the point where it's red. And Hansa yellow deep is a very, uh, a very red, warm yellow. Okay, so this is not a it's not a cool yellow and a warm yellow. This is like a warm yellow and like a red yellow. <laughs> uh, the same thing goes with the ultramarine blue and the cobalt blue. Uh, cobalt blue is it's a uh, a cooler blue than ultramarine, which is a warm blue. But the cobalt blue is uh, it's not gonna be like a thalo blue in that it's almost like a green in color. It's still fairly warm when you put it next to ultramarine. I'll show you the swatches that I did in a minute. Uh, then you have, of course, your yellow ochre, which goes over here with the yellows. So you have a, uh, you know, like two warm yellows and then a uh, an earth yellow. Viridian, I've come to like Viridian. It's not going to be as uh, saturated as a sap green, uh, but it has some nice qualities. And it's, it's non-staining, and it's very transparent. So you can mix this with a lot of uh, other colors, and it doesn't stain, and it's a uh, transparent color. Burnt Sienna Light, this is a more orange-tinted version of regular Burnt Sienna. Neutral Tint, I already talked about Neutral Tint. And then you have uh, two more reds at the end. So you have, well, I, it's only two reds in the set, huh? But I, I counted Mayan orange as a red too because you'll see in a minute how deep the color is and how far away from yellow it looks. I mean, how far away from orange it looks. And then right here you have a uh, pyro red and deep scarlet. Again, this is not a cool red and a warm red. This is more like a warm red and a neutral red. These are the swatches that I did of this set and as you can see I dated this as I did it on the 24th of February this year but I messed up the last video that I did of this set so I had to remake it so that's where we are right now so if we take a look at these swatches let's try to get let me try to get a little closer Okay, this is Hansa Yellow Deep. And this is on uh, just student grade paper. But you can see how warm this yellow is. And then Mayan Orange, which again, like I was saying, is almost red. It's a, a very red orange compared to like a New Gamboge, for instance. Then you move over to your blues, uh, your ultramarine blue and your cobalt blue. As you can see, the ultramarine blue is, I mean, it's ultramarine. 
Uh, the ultramarine blue, I don't think it granulates as much as the French ultramarine. Uh, but it does granulate and also cobalt blue granulates as well. Uh, many of these colors do granulate in this set. Uh, cobalt blue, again, it's a lighter uh, a lighter blue than the ultramarine, a cooler blue than ultramarine, but it's not going to be like a phthalo blue that you might find in the uh, essential set. Keep that in mind. Also, if you would like to know pigments, pigments are written. A lot of these are single pigment colors, uh, except for burnt sienna light, neutral tint. The Mayan orange pigments are not available. Uh, they're not on the tube and they're not shown on the Daniel Smith website. Don't know why, but that's what that is. Next, you come down to the Viridian, uh, Viridian green. I've come to kind of like Viridian. It's a duller green uh, or more neutralized green than your sap green might be. Sap green is a very vibrant green. And personally, I don't like to use a lot of green in my paintings. But you can do a lot of things with this Viridian because it's uh, tr very transparent and it's not staining. So you can mix this green with uh, like a burnt sienna and you can get a... Uh, a brown green for like uh, shadowy areas of a tree. Uh, you can mix this with cobalt blue to get uh, a blue green that you can also use for like shadow areas in trees. And and then you can mix this uh, viridian with yellow. So you can mix it with the yellow deep, or as in my palette, I have a, a Hansa yellow light that I use as well. And it brightens up this green and makes it a little more vibrant. Uh, so you can use it like that as well. So it mixes well with other colors. Yellow ochre is yellow ochre. You know, I'm not gonna talk about that. Burnt sienna light, again, it's a, uh, a lighter tint then your regular burnt sienna is more on the orange side than the brown side as a regular burnt sienna and it's a mixed pigment neutral tint again this is what i was saying and that it's a cool gray color and when you mix the neutral tint with other colors it cools them down as well so no matter what color you mix neutral tint with it'll cool it down and gray it out very nice to use when making uh shadows Scarlet deep, I mean deep scarlet, a really earthy red tone. Uh, I like this color, but you know, it's just a really deep red. And then of course you have your pyro red, which is a really warm uh, popping red. Down here, I kind of got some color mixes that I did together. Uh, this is what I was talking about. You can mix Viridian with Ultramarine and you get this blue green effect. Hansa Yellow Deep and Pyro Red give a nice orange, which might be used instead of this Mayan orange. You know, it's close to the Mayan orange, but this is a little more orange. And the more yellow you put into it, the oranger it becomes. Uh, moving over here, this is a uh, Cobalt and Viridian. So this is what cobalt and I mean this is what Viridian and Ultramarine looks like and this is what cobalt and Viridian looks like and then this is a, a mix of the deep scarlet and cobalt together get that tone this is a purple that you can get from mixing Ultramarine and Power Red uh, a nice purple it's not going to be as poppy as like a, a of iridium, I mean not of iridium, but a cerulean blue and a you know a warm or a cool red like a rose matter or something like that give a really deep purple color. This is more of a neutralized purple. Uh, same thing with the ultramarine and viridian. You get more neutralized colors. And last, this is just like the colors kind of running together. I didn't do this very well, so you know. But it is what it is. I did it already. Uh, this is just, like I said, the colors kind of going together. I didn't mix the colors very well in between each other. So don't worry about that. But as you can see, the colors are more neutralized.
they're very uh, neutral. These are very neutralized colors compared to uh, the bright popping colors that you might find inside of the essential set. Which again is why I recommend that if you are interested in this set, there are other colors that I would say a regular, if you're going out and you're doing like urban sketching or something like that, that you would have to have inside of your box uh, of colors. I think this is a great set, but again, this was put together by an artist who uses these colors and has a purpose for each color in the in the style that he uses. So these colors are from Alveo Castanet. So the p colors that he picked have a purpose for the style that he paints in. If you're not Alveo Castanet, then you might find it difficult to use some of these colors together, or you might not understand how the colors work together, which was like me. I didn't understand how all of these colors work together, and after I've used these colors now, I understand you know, what they're used for, but I still chose other colors to replace some of these. I did not use every color in this palette to go into my personal palette. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I didn't swatch out the colors, so all of you swatch lovers, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, feed your need to see colors go down on paper. But this is what they look like when they're dry, and I hope that works out for you. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new. And also hit the subscribe button so that you can see more art reviews as they come out from this channel because I'll be releasing a lot of... Uh, reviews on different products uh, from as often as I can, multiple videos a week. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And I appreciate you for watching. I hope this video helps you out in your decision if you choose to buy this Alveo Castanet Master Artist set. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.